All right, so this is data set three. A student conducted an experiment to address the research question. The results from the experiment are shown below. What is the relationship between energy supplied to a metal block and the change in temperature when the input power is kept constant over time? So you can see a missing value here. We've got to calculate it. So average temperature, again, is just adding all of the values together, dividing by the amount. So 36 plus 33, 35 plus 34 plus 37, divided by those five trials. Put it into your calculator. 35. Determine the absolute uncertainty of the mean for the temperature T after the water has been heated for a time T equals 180. So absolute uncertainty of the mean for temperature uh, is plus or minus the largest one for that trial, 180, which is 82, minus the smallest one, which was 52, and divide that difference by 2. So we're plus or minusing 30 divided by 2, which is 15. So the absolute uncertainty is the 68 plus or minus 15 degrees Celsius. Identify the relationship between the time T with water has been heated and the temperature T of the water. Use evidence from the experiment to support your answer. Um, so we can show that this is a linear relationship. So we could show that, let's say t is y and time is x. So you want some sort of relationship like this. So we have a starting temperature, which is the plus c, 30.5. We just need to figure out the gradient, which is the y, uh, the rise over run. So 78.4 minus 30.5 divided by 240 minus 0. So on average, it's going up this amount per second. And that's our gradient. So y equals 0.1996x plus 30.5 as our starting temperature. It is a linear relationship. Yeah, and you can see that it's slowly going up. You could show this further by doing it in intervals. Predict the temperature of the water after 3 100 seconds if the water continued to heat at the same rate. So then we use this equation that we just found and uh, we sub in x equals 300. So subbing that in, we have a temperature um, of 90.38 degrees Celsius, approximately. And that's all the questions. I hope that was useful. Thanks for watching.